and welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. So this is the second part of me making um, some jewellery out of some paint skins. And on Monday, which today's Thursday, I created this piece of art on a 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre ceramic tile. And as you can see, it has dried beautifully. I uh, used some of uh, this little piggy pigments and I also used some of the Araldo di Paolo acrylic paint, all of which I mixed with the um, three Torbmans and I've had that in the description box below, below exactly what I used. Um, so as you can see, I mean, they've all dried absolutely beautifully. I love it. Um, so the next step is to get the skin off the tile. Now, as I said the other day, you can pour onto um, some silicon mats, which are great, and they do, it does peel just straight off those. Um, there's no soaking or anything like that. Um, but I wanted to show you this process because I know a lot of people do tiles um, for coasters and so on, and often you'll get one that you like, but you don't necessarily want to turn it into a coaster and put the resin on. Um, well, you can soak those and uh, get the paint off. Now, not all paint lifts off as well as other paints. Some lift off better than others. Um, and also it depends on how long the paint's been on there. I've had some tiles that have, I've had, you know, I've found that I might've done 18 months ago. Some of them came off really well and some of them didn't. So it's a bit of hit and miss like that. But this one's only three days old. Um, so as long as it's completely dry, um, I did one the other day that was only one day old and it still came off without the paint breaking down. So, but obviously it was dry. So probably better to leave it for, you know, three or four days to make sure that it is completely dry, depending on your climate and how things are drying. Um, and I particularly like using the house paint as the base for these because it just gives a nice, um, thick sort of combined surface. Now, where I've done my little hearts through here, um, I did notice that because I pressed a little bit hard um, when I took the skewer through, it's cut through the base paint. And so I might end up with a little bit of difficulty getting that off there. Um, but even if it has a small hole in it, I don't think I'll notice that when I actually make it into the bracelet. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Be careful if you're using a skewer to do your little um, swirls and that, that you don't dig right down deep because you can end up with a little hole. All right, so what I'm going to do, this is just a tub with water. Now make sure it's cold water. Use hot water, it can start to um, break down your paint because after all, that's what they use to strip paint off walls, isn't it? They use heat. So heat will cause your paint to break down. Um, so make sure it's cold water. So I'm just going to dip it in. Let that soak for um, a minute or two, not too long. And then I'm just going to use my, I can actually do it while it's in there, just use my X-Acto knife just to cut along the edge of the tile there. And I'm going to do that round all four sides. I should have done that before I put it in the container. But that's what happens. And then just round here as well. And this just makes it easier Whoops! when you go to um, peel it off. So just cutting through, pushing through to the tile. And I'll do that on all four sides. Don't want to leave it soaking in there for too long. Although I did have some tiles that I put into some water a week or so ago. And I forgot about it for a good 24 hours and actually they were still fine. Um, but I probably wouldn't recommend doing that. And then I'll just do the last side. Just be careful with your X-Acto knife that you don't um, slice your finger at the same time. Okay, so I've let that soak probably only for a couple of minutes. We'll see how we go. You don't have to soak it for too long. So I'll just take that off there. Move my bucket. Now, can you still see me? I'll just tilt the camera slightly. I don't want my camera to fall off and end up in the water. So I'm just going to get a loose edge, create a loose edge, I should say, just where I've done my 
cut here and then just gently slide the knife you can see where I've cut and that's peeling up nicely so just sliding the exacto knife pointing the blade down towards the tile though so you're not going to rip your skin and just gently slicing that through I'm just making sure you can still see yes you can soaked it a bit longer it would probably come off a lot more easily and now I've gone all the way through there I'm just going to gently start to peel it up now I will dry that off a bit because it's making my fingers slippery if you find it's not lifting up yet um, you might just want to put it back in the bucket for another couple of minutes And sometimes it just gets a little bit stuck and I just use my knife again pointing the blade down towards the um, tile not towards your surface of your paint some areas lift better than others it's where I've done the gold and I've cut through that it's sort of making it a little bit more difficult to lift As you can see it's sort of lifting very easily around the edges here and it will stretch slightly um, as you're lifting it but that should sort of bounce back into shape it's a little bit harder to lift there I might just pop that back in for a couple of minutes okay so that's another couple of minutes we'll just see how we go now Drip, 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 dry off. And as you can see, even though that's been soaking in the water, none of the paint's come off. So just keep trying to lift it. And oh, it's moving a bit easier now. I didn't leave it in there for very long in the beginning. Fingers are very slippery though. I might start bringing it back the other way. Just gently pointing your blade down towards the tile and being careful that it doesn't slip and slit your wrist or your finger or anything else you've got in the way. Very, very careful with these knives or blades. Sometimes they just come up really, really easily. But again, I haven't really left um, it soaking very long. Probably, you know, a good five or ten minutes would have been better. But I'm being impatient today. My fingers are really slippery. That's making it really hard. Ah. You can see where I've done the swirls with the um, skewer, how it's cut the paint, the under base paint right down. Um, so you do have to be very careful because it can make a hole. But it, you won't notice that when I put it on the bracelet anyway because um, I'll be covering 
it with the triple thick varnish and at worst you'll just see a bit of um, silver coming through or gold whichever color bracelet you're using so it's not the end of the world okay it's coming up quite well actually it's just a case of being gentle there you go it has been removed as I say you can see the swirls where I've gone through with the skewer but there's no actual holes there so that's great so there we go there's your skin and as you can see from using the um, house paint it's got a really nice thick surface so it's really good for the skins it um, holds together beautifully it's just very very plasticky um, so it's not crumbly or anything it's just yeah as I say very plasticky okay so I'll just let that dry now I'm just going to pay, place it on a piece of um, in this case baking paper you could put it onto a silicon mat nice dry silicon mat or the baking paper and I'm just going to let that dry now for half an hour make sure that it's completely dry um, before I do the next step as you can see, once I've laid that down, how it was sort of stretching when I was taking it off, well, the stretchiness has gone out of it, and that's pretty much a perfect um, square again. So it does bounce back. Okay, so I'll see you back here in half an hour.